From the one and only, this is a Local 10 News Update, sponsored by Wellmax Medical Centers. Well, good morning, South Florida. I'm Eric Yutze. Here's a look at your top stories on this Monday. Rescue teams continue to work around the clock in hard-hit areas in southwest Florida after Hurricane Ian. Destruction in Pine Island making it difficult for residents and rescue crews to navigate. Officials warning islanders to evacuate the area because of the uncertainty of when power and water will be back on. Authorities also working with several organizations trying to bring anyone who is stranded back to safety. In Fort Myers, a man who lives on a 54-foot yacht tells us he immediately regretted thinking he could ride out the hurricane on his boat. His yacht was flooded. When it began to sink, he jumped onto the dock, made his way to a boat, made his boat closer to the marina. The next morning, he helped some other men who had survived the storm on sailboats. At daybreak, they found the boats at that marina destroyed. A heavy police presence at the scene of a possible shooting in North Miami yesterday. Our cameras rolling as police look for clues in the residential area of Northeast 6th Avenue. We're hearing a person may have been transported to the hospital with a gunshot wound. We are working to confirm that with North Miami police. We'll work to bring you any new developments on air and online at local10.com. And some concern this morning over the health of Lolita. The beloved 56-year-old Orca, also known as Toki, reported to be in declining health. Sources close to Local 10 News report the lights were on at her enclosure at the Miami Aquarium all night over the weekend, which insiders say is a move that means the Orca is now on a 24-hour watch. As breaking news happens, we'll keep you covered on air and online. Head to Local10.com for more local news coverage and updates.